so it's the weekend and uh, I really have a lot of stuff to do right now uh, task number one finish editing my vlog from last week I'm again behind deadline and number two look for a laptop table because sitting on the chair is getting too uncomfy and there are times I just want to be able to sit on my bed or lie down and have a computer table right in front of me that I can use so that I can get comfy during the weekend number three of course like any uh, anyone out there who does go outside during the weekend obviously grocery shopping and I am running out of uh, soap facial wash and some other stuff so it's actually very hot outside right now and I'm heading off to the metro station again Dubai healthcare city right behind me around me and there's not a soul in sight maybe a bus just a bus because that's the route and I was wishing that I should have bought my uh, longboard with me because walking is a drag when you're feeling lazy so here's the bus again there's the bus it's going it's going it's going All right finally at the metro station Whew. man they're, they're blasting cold air inside here but I'm still sweating like crazy uh. You'd think that someone who was born in the Middle East and raised in the Middle East would have somehow developed clogged pores to stop the sweating, but no. Well, actually, according to science, or according to uh, anyone would say this was gr who grew up here, if you grew up in the Middle East or somewhere that's really hot, your body pretty much adjusts to it. and uh you'd sweat like crazy it's basically your body adjusting to the heat so if you grew up in the middle east or uh, somewhere really hot if you sweat like crazy then that's good it means your body's adjusting to it okay just a few people around here and Instead of taking the escalator, I'm taking the elevator because I'm lazy right now. <sighs> All right, so I'm here in City Center right now, uh, getting cozy and cost of coffee. Hmm, it kind of rhymes, I guess. And uh, ordered a muffin, and I decided to opt out for an, for an americano. Uh, because I'm starting to feel tired and I need all the energy I can get to finish my vlog. Alright, so after this I'll probably head out to start looking out for some cute laptop tables. Hopefully they'll have some uh, good ones, good but cheap ones here. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And uh, internet's really fast in the malls here. I just did I just did a speed test and uh, we're up at, we're up at 4 Mbps 4 Mbps in a mall it's really fast I'm not sure if you can find uh, other malls that are uh, other countries that have fast internet in the malls but right here in UAE you can surf pretty much comfortably with thousands of people hundred more than more than like a thousand or uh, no not really a thousand I'm exaggerating here I guess there are more than a hundred more than 500 people in the mall internet is still going to run fast hey folks I'm uh, right outside our apartment where I'm staying and I just couldn't help but notice that there was a there was another kitten that just got added to the group of cats that I usually that I help feed out here so there they are so there's the little guy over there and there's the well the, the one I the one I usually call that so because he loves to eat a lot and then there's the other guy over there who's uh, uh, 
I'm not, I, actually it's a she, sorry it's a she. And she's very shy in approaching uh, when eating. She usually waits for everyone else to finish us before she comes in to eat. But by that time, this guy's already finished the whole mess and I have to bring out a second serving. Well, this one right here, this little guy right here already has his, has his stomach full. All right. So it's actually a community of cats right here and uh, I actually had this one uh, chance before, like two months ago, I think. I, I found this kitten right outside in Healthcare City by all by itself and uh, I knew it wouldn't be able to, s to live that, to stay or live that long outside of, the, of this, uh, outside over there since there were a lot of cars passing by. So what I did was like I brought it with me and brought it inside the subdivision right here because I knew that uh, it could be taken care of by the, uh, the rest of the community of cats because they're very welcoming with other kittens. Just, you know, like so.